Hello, my name is Lucretia Kaufman and I am in the Africana Change class of 2014. Um, today, I would like to give you my reaction to the first chapter of Pedagogy of the Oppressed. Um, my first reaction to reading it was that it was very powerful, very eye-opening. Um, a lot of the points that were made in the chapter or the book so far, I had never heard of before. Like. Um, oppression being something that is a cycle, an ongoing cycle, that not only is put on by the oppressor, but also reinforced by the oppressee or the person being repressed. I mean, I kind of heard of that before, but this first chapter, one of the points was to really break that down, and um, I thought that was really powerful. Um, another point that I thought was very interesting was whenever he was talking about in order to stop oppression, that it's going to need the oppressor and the oppressee to come together and to work together. Um, I think that that is a, an argument that can be argued, definitely, but I also kind of agree with that because I think that we think that oppression, in order to be gotten rid of, that the oppress, the person who is being oppressed has to, you know, um, have a big revolution, they have to have all these protests and stuff. And I think that is true and that does work, but that it also, you need to have the people who are oppressing being part of that argument and having both groups come together because if you just have the oppressors still oppressing, you can't, you know, completely get rid of the oppression. So I thought that was a very valid argument and I kind of agreed that you do need to have both groups working together simultaneously in order for the problem to be get rid of. And an example that I thought about was um, in the United States and the oppression that we see um, against minorities, I thought that it was very interesting to think about how if we were going to try to get rid of that oppression that both groups would need to come together and the white people and the African American or the Latina or you know any type of immigrant, any type of minority that the the struggle is going to need both all the groups to come together to try to find a solution and that it's it doesn't work if the oppressed the oppressed people just say we can't we can't fight it because it's oppression and oh look at how bad these people treat us no you need to work for it too and it's going to be an upwards battle no matter what so um, overall I thought that I liked the pedagogy of the oppressed so far um, I'm very excited to keep going in the rest of the chapters. I kind of read a little bit of the summary of the chapters, but I um, am very excited to actually read it. So uh, I'll see you guys later, and I'll see you guys next time for my next reaction to the next chapter. Thank you. Bye.